my people only nigeria a man want to lead you you they refuse say no i don't want i don't want you go see they push yourself i bet more i just watch this video ah papa more grace more fire hi guys share this video share this video it's only in nigeria a man wants to kill you to lead you i say i don't want your leadership you say you must want it in nigeria political space leadership is by force don't lead me i must lead you don't be my leader i must be your leader okay let me select my leader no i will snatch your ballot box the two elections in nigeria has proven only one thing pvc is useless this thing we are calling democracy in nigeria we should return it Democracy is government of the people. You can express your will. This type of democracy, let's return it. The one we collected is duplicate. What we have is agberocracy. Government of the agbero by the agbero for the agbero. You stand to snatch ballot box and they shoot you. And the man you are snatching for is child is abroad. The consolation I have is that anything that is not built on a right platform can stand. Don't copy Nigerian politicians. What they have taught you is that honesty doesn't pay. Don't copy them. Free and fair life does not yield result. Following due process has no reward. Everything you achieve in life is through violence. Being a trickster is being smart. Don't copy them. Don't copy the average Nigerian politician who make you feel that honesty doesn't pay. Who make you believe that you can struggle to get a PVC. Stay on the queue, under the rain, under the heat, right before your eyes. They snatch ballot box, kill people, harass you, and they, at the end declare they themselves winner. Don't copy them. That is a cost life. Don't copy an average politician in Nigeria who carries people's children, imports them as mercenaries. To waste people, kill people. Don't copy the average Nigerian politician who has now become a tribal bigot. Tribalism everywhere. Who is trying to divide Nigeria and saying Igbos are not Yoruba, Yorubas are not Igbo, forgetting that we are from one nation under God. Whether you are Igbo, whether you are Hausa, whether you are Yoruba, whether you are ethnic, it doesn't matter. You are a Nigerian. There is no Yoruba passport. There's no Igbo passport. There's no Edo passport. There's no South South passport. What we have is a Nigerian passport. You can stay anywhere, you can live anywhere, you can survive anywhere. There is no tax for the East or tax for the West. We are all taxpayers. So long you are a taxpayer, you are entitled to stay anywhere. As a young person, I know for the past one month, what you have learned, you are shattered, your hope is shattered. With all the first time the youth decided to, to struggle for something and they took it from them. The youth should not give up. What you have learned, is how not to copy old men what you have learned is how illegal wealth is gotten you hear me proverbs 20 21 an inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning but the end shall not be blessed power you stole you will lose bare faced carrying boxes jumping on bike broad daylight tiffin conscience dead reasoning dead for how much money that in two days is gone but you're in bondage for four years do you promote someone who failed if you failed, you have so failed and failed and failed. You failed eight years. Eight years failure. You are rusticated. You have not been sworn into office. You are already threatening people. We will do this. We will do this. You will do that. We will do this. There's dignity in due process. Don't become dismayed or dissuaded. So if you are a politician in this place and they disenfranchise you and the rest, calm down. A time is going to come in this country where we will have free and fair. We'll be alive to witness it. Oh, be their family, I beg. Mom, I share this video. This one on my walk. Mom, I share this video. May it go viral. Share this video. Let this video go viral. You see all these people. They are children. They know they live for Nigeria. They are children. They live either for Europe or UK or part of the world. They are children. Not they suffer waiting people. Waiting with they suffer for Nigeria. They, they carry their own. Young boys, you just say your destiny for four years. My people, I don't know what I want to talk. If everybody go come out like Apostle John C. Sulema, I believe this Nigeria go turn to a better place. Mom, I share this video. Let all that see it. See you on my next video. I say bye. I remember your humble girl, Tessie One of Paris.